Hey everybody, this video starts us out here in my home. I've got things to do today. It is officially the last week, not even the last week, the last four days of me being in my childhood home, my home of 41 years. This is it. Tonight, we're going to the, the title company to, to sign everything. On Friday, the new owners, they sign everything, which gives us four days essentially to, to get out of here. Thursday night, I'm not gonna be here. I'm basically gonna, Thursday's gonna be the day where I go through the house with a fine tooth comb, go through every nook and cranny, check every drawer, check every shelf, check every everything to make sure I got everything that needs to be taken out of the house. I don't leave anything accidentally behind that's not staying here. So come Thursday night, I will officially be staying at my brother's house for, for three days over the, over the weekend. So <clears throat> getting choked up just, just thinking about it. It, it is sad. It, it's bittersweet. It's very bittersweet. I'm, I'm excited for a, for a new, new adventure in my life. I'm excited to be moving to Florida. I'm excited for, you know, constant Disney World. I'm excited for my, my new life with, with Danielle. I'm excited for the new house down there. I'm excited for a lot of stuff. Excited for the nice weather, not this cold. I mean, I know it rains a lot in Florida, but it's very chilly out right now and raining, which I'm not a big fan of. So I'm excited for, for a lot of stuff. But at the same time, I'm very sad that I'm leaving my, my house, my childhood home of, of 41 years. It is sad, crazy to think this is it. We're down to the last four days before this is no longer my house. So what do I have to do today? I've got more stuff to get, has to get donated. We found some more stuff. I don't know how it keeps happening. I, I keep every, every time, every week I donate stuff and go, okay, that's it. We've, 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 got, we've gotten everything that has to be donated. And then come next week, there's a pile of stuff. Like how do we keep, that's why I gotta go through everything with a fine tooth comb because we keep missing stuff somehow. So more stuff has to get donated. I'm probably just gonna take it to Goodwill today because it's raining. I think they have like an overhang. I don't feel like uh, getting wet. So I'm um, probably gonna donate stuff to Goodwill today. I've gotta go to the bank because I have to get like wiring instructions for, for my account so that um, when we do sign the paperwork, they can transfer the money that they owe us for the house into, into my account. So I've gotta go do that. Um, I feel like there's other things I have to do. Wiring, oh, I gotta go to the post office. I got packages to drop off. In fact, I have a sale I have to find a title for now and pack that up quickly before I go to the post office. So again, bittersweet, lots to do this week. Very busy, hectic, stressful week of getting everything done, taken care of, and getting the house sold. So that come Thursday night, I'm gonna head to my brother's house and leave the, ha leave the keys on the, on the counter and say goodbye to my house for the last time, which is, which is sad. But again, also kind of exciting for a new chapter in my life to, to start. But anyway, all right, so things to do today. I'm gonna go pack up that order. We're gonna head to the post office. We're gonna head to the, the, the bank and we're gonna head to Goodwill. And then I don't know what else we're gonna do besides that, but all I know is um, <laughs> I've got things to do today. So, all right, let's go, let's go do them. All right, so first stop is gonna be the post office. I do have three packages that need to be sent out. I've been having a lot of packages going out recently due to the whole new Macari thing of um, no more seller's fees. I've been able to, able to drop my, my pricing down to way, way, way cheaper thanks to that new policy. So I've been having a lot of, lot of sales recently due to the fact that the, um, my pricing has, has gone, gone down, which is my concern that over the next week, I'm gonna have a ton of, of packages going out and all my stuff's gonna be inside a van. By the way, look at that. The building of the, the post office. I have never noticed that picture before. All right, packages have been dropped off. Will this be my last time ever using my hometown's post office? It honestly might be. I think the next time I go to the post office will probably be on Thursday. Just like one last drop off and one last, um, check of my my p.o box in valley forge which is like 20 minutes away don't it's a whole it's a whole story as to why i don't use my local post office for a p.o box why i use a post office 20 minutes away but anyway um yeah that's probably my last time ever dropping off packages or ever going into my my hometowns my hometowns post office for now on it'll be the winter garden <laughs> post office <sighs> just Again, bitter, bittersweet. All right, we have made it to the bank now. Hey, look, Sean's with me. He was, he was in the back playing his, his games the whole the whole time. Ooh, Smash Brothers? 
dice. I was watching the CPUs fighting against CPUs. <laughs> see, wait, so you weren't even playing it? You were just watching no, it? Because I wanted to see what happens. <laughs> all right. CPUs aren't all, all the time smart. Anyway, we're at the bank now. I gotta get wiring instructions so I can get paid for my, for my house. And you need to watch CPUs battle each other. Weird. Okay, well that was extremely easy. Just got the wiring, routing number and that, that's it. All right, off to Goodwill to drop some stuff off and maybe do a little thrifting as well. I mean, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be there. I'm, we're gonna do a little thrifting as well. Okay, everything's been dropped off, donated to to Goodwill. The last of the stuff getting donated to, to, to Goodwill or to any, any thrift store in general, who, who knows? I have a feeling that we're probably going to find a few more things that I'm going to need to uh, to donate at some point. But anyway, all right, so we are going to go into the Goodwill here in Trap, Pennsylvania. <sighs> this Goodwill has been not too great as of recently. Last like two times I've been in here, they've had like no movies. So I don't know if they've restocked at all. The issue is they're not allowed to put stuff out. I've been told by the employees here that when they get books, books, your favorite, when they get books and movies in, they can't price them and put them out. They now have to take all books and all movies and send them off to central processing so they can check them to make sure they're not out of print or rare or worth money. It's Goodwill doing their typical BS where they're they're wanting to put all their, their expensive, you know, check everything, put all their expensive stuff on their on their website. And this is why people don't shop at, at Goodwill anymore. So have they restocked anything? I, I I guess if they got stuff in from Central Processing, they've they've restocked, but I can, I can already I'm look I'm looking all the way in the back of the store where the media is and I'm seeing so I'm, I'm seeing white shelves, so I'm not holding my breath, but we're here, so we're gonna check them out. Okay, so pretty much as I expected, there's not really much here. I mean, okay, they, they do have movies. It's just the same exact movies they had last week. I don't see anything worth picking up at all. Nothing I need for my collection, nothing I need for, for the store, with the exception of, of one thing I think I wanna pick up over here in the CDs. They do have this Elvis Presley Christmas duets. And from what I can tell, this is all like, it's, it's Elvis Christmas songs sort of re-recorded with like newer artists. I think that's what this is. I don't know, it's it's on sale for um for $1 because it's it's red tagged. So I, I do like me some Christmas music. I, I like Elvis. I'm gonna pick this up, I'm intrigued, but that's gonna do it. Onto the books, I guess. <laughs> on, onto the books, I guess. Yeah, there's there's nothing over here in the in the movie section. Although before we do head over to look at the books, I just want to point out for whatever reason, this Kennedy Space Center, Spaceport USA Vintage Cup. This thing is is awesome. I love these old school tchotchkes and souvenirs. Back in the day, when I was a kid, my family had a cupboard full of pretty much nothing but these souvenir cups. Why we would always buy them from everywhere, I don't know. We had so many of these. Now we just have, our, our family just has Disney ones. We have like a million Disney mugs that we we have no need for, but this is this is cool. I'm not gonna pick it up. It's it's only one ninety nine. I don't I have no need for that whatsoever, but I just I don't know, I had to I had to show it off. It's there. It's, it's, <laughs> as Sean says. It's there. It's there. Okay, so unfortunately there's no dog man, no Captain Underpants, no no Minecraft, nope. no Pokemon. No nothing you want to pick up over here in the in the books? Nope. All right, so books are going to be a bust for Sean, but I'm seeing something really interesting. The Frugal Gourmet. I used to watch this show all the time with, with my daddy when I was your age. If it was a rainy day like today, on a, I think it was on like a Sunday or something like that, The Frugal Gourmet was, was always on, and my dad loved the show, and I loved watching it with him, watching, watching him cook all kinds of interesting meals. I remember his very calming, soothing voice. Somewhere at home, I actually have his autograph. I found at a, a Goodwill like a couple of years ago. But anyway, all right, so books are, books are also a bust. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna walk around quickly, see what else we can find, but I'm thinking it's probably just gonna be some Christmas Elvis today. I'm putting this sort of thing up there with the whole like bags of toys. When you, when you go into a Goodwill or any thrift store, and you see a bag of toys and there's that one toy in the bag of toys, 
you want, but you, you don't want to buy the whole bag because you don't want to spend like $10 on a bag of toys you don't want for one toy you do want. Same thing with this. I don't really want to spend $5 on this, um, this like hand-painted Halloween basket and this really ugly plush. I just want the really cool looking, probably not vintage, but like faux vintage blow mold pumpkin. That thing is awesome, but I mean, it's, I don't know, like I'd, I'd pay like a dollar or two for it, but like five bucks, I'd, it, oh. I don't want it that bad. I, I want it. I just don't five dollars want it. So unfortunately, I'm going to pass on the uh, the pumpkin, which I would be picking up for, for Danielle. So I'm sure she's going to watch this video and say, you should have paid five dollars for the pumpkin. Okay, so we've come over into the toy section now, which they keep on top of the, the clothes. And we, we just found this, an adorable Star Wars Ewok plushie. It is, it is so fluffy. That is amazing. Let me guess, you, you want him, right? I mean, it's $3, it has its tags. That is pretty cool. All right, I mean, the last thing you need is more plush. You have about 47,000 plushies at home. Probably not 1,000, but probably like 47. 47,000 plushies at home is what is what you have. You have so many plush animals, but you do love your plush animals. Yeah. Um, would you say it's a collection? No. <laughs> it's your family. Yes. It's your family of plush. Anyway, that's that's pretty awesome. It's it's they're both so adorable. How can I say no? So again, last thing you need is more plush. I'm now gonna have to find somewhere to pack that yep. to take down to Florida. But I can't I can't say no to either face. It's three bucks. All right, you're getting the fluffy Ewok plush. It's adorable. They're both adorable. All right, so yeah, that's gonna do it for Goodwill. But I mean, I I, I guess I'm happy. I don't I don't know. I found I found some Elvis Presley. I would say Sean's the winner. The um, the Ewok plush is pretty amazing. That 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 is really it's so cute. It's fluffy. It's cute. It's adorable. It it, it is pretty cool. I wasn't gonna say no to that, but all right. I'm thinking. Are, are we done our errands already? I'm hungry. Y'all, I'm starving too. I'm thinking we're gonna get some food. But yeah, I'm thinking that's gonna do it for errands. I mean, we just had to go. I had to go to the post office. I had to go to the bank. I had to go to Goodwill. And now I gotta go home and pack more stuff and get more things ready. So. Oh. Do you want to get pizza? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go get pizza. I, yeah, all right. <laughs> pizza before before I do anything else. Wait a minute, hold on. We're actually not quite done with Goodwill yet. We actually saw something rather interesting in here that I thought John might want. So I took a photo of it, and thankfully, right before we were about to pull away, he texted me back saying, yes, grab this. I want it. We're actually going to meet up tomorrow. So John's got a, um, John's got a surprise. Well, not a surprise, but John's got a... John's got something coming to him, so we, we had to come back in so I could quickly grab it, unless, did somebody else, oh no, I thought for a second somebody else may have picked it up. Here it is. It's the DC Multiverse Batman Bat Cycle. I don't know, John, John collects this crap. He's like, he likes all the action figures and the, and the whatnot, so he wants the, he wants the Bat Cycle for, for $9.99. Okay, now we're officially done with Goodwill. John's Bat cycle has been picked up. Now we're getting pizza, right? Because I, I, it's like, I think it's past noon at this point. I am, I am starving. And again, I've got so much more stuff to do at home and I'm not gonna be doing it on an empty stomach. So all right, let's get out of the rain. Let's get John's bat cycle out of the rain. And let's go get some pizza. All right guys, so I'm thinking that's gonna do it for today's very quick kind of brief video of us just running some errands, doing a little bit of thrifting and now getting some uh, some mushy ground, some delicious pizza here at Bravo Pizza. I don't know about you, I'm getting a slice and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself a, uh, a breadstick as well. What are you thinking? The sh ooh, the Sean special? You haven't had that in a long time. I think I'll just have a plain with the breadstick. All right, Sean, Sean special is um, a plain slice with some pepperoni put down one side and then cut in half. So you get one slice of pizza that's mm -hmm. half pepperoni, half plain. It's been a while since you've done that. Yeah. All right, but not today? No. All right, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for, for today's video. Again, just some quick errands that needed to be run. They've been, they've been ran, and we are, we are done. I got, I got so much stuff to do at home. I got so much more packing to do, and it's just cleaning, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing, never-ending process that has to end in four days. So, all right, bravo pizza to fill us up. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon if you guys do. 
become a patron. I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show and they do keep the show going. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag... The errands have been ran. The errands have been ran, which I, I'm not 100% sure if that's proper English. I don't know. Comments down below about that too. All right, guys. So like I said, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. All right, it's been done. I've I've signed all the paperwork to um, to sign over my house to the the new owners. Come come Friday, the house will no longer be will no longer be mine. Again, bitter sweet. Popped into to Goodwill here in Phoenixville since I was driving past it uh, from the from the title company, but there was there was nothing in there. The same garbage they had last week, probably because they're also sending all their their donations to a sorting facility that is going through all the, the books and, and DVDs and Blu-rays and whatnot. Who knows when they'll get something new in, but anyway. All right, again, my, my John Hancock has been put on some paperwork and my house is ready to be, to be turned over to somebody else. Crazy, three days. That's it, three more days and I'm done. All right, guys, anyway, thanks for watching. You know what? I'm gonna go with some pretzels to celebrate. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.